Hey, this is Russell, back again with another episode. I'm literally recording this one off the back of the last one, where we just released uh, Zebulon 3D Paint. So yeah, start my timer. And so, yeah. So let's let's watch the customer service today. We, we cut this back to a budget of uh, 150K. Let's also just make it its priority a bit lower. Um... I really want Zebulon 3D Paint to like overtake the 3D market. I want to dominate the 3D market. I don't want those like Vector dudes dominating it because Vector is like a super villain. I think he's like the dude off of like Despicable Me, and uh, we can't have a super villain ruling the world. That title belongs to Russell Moneybags, ruler of the software industry world. So yeah, probably between this episode and the next episode, I might do some training for the people. Like, I don't want to put all of that boring stuff on camera, where I just choose people's stats. Um, there we go. That's ported over. So we have probably a ridiculous consumer reach now. Let's look at it. Uh, consumer reach hasn't changed. So where, where does it show like all of that? Where like it shows uh, whatever, like the amount of active users you can sell to. Um, is this portable? Yeah, nothing new for that. And, and if there's nothing new for that, there's nothing new for that. Okay. Uh, the fact that we had to port that one to all of those new things means by the time Zebulon Office comes out, that'll probably have to be ported out to a ton of new stuff. Unless Zebulon Office, we we started much later than that. I don't remember. I have to see what Zebulon Office is uh, released on. May end up having to do porting for that. Might not. We'll see. Uh, so we we've dealt with a lot of those customer service tickets. The only thing with anything left is is this one, and we haven't missed anything. It looks like, which is the most important thing. We do not want to miss anything. Zero missed. Zero missed, yeah. Uh, sales was not quite as much this month as it was last month. Um, I don't think it's this, though. It looks like it still made around the same amount of profit. It looks more like it was was uh, this one, actually. The audio tool is dying down a bit, which is fine. You know, it had its run. Um, once Zebulon, once Zebulon is released, we can uh, go ahead and, and go for another audio tool. Make sure that release goes well. Zebulon 3D Paint already has 100,000 users. So we, we might be able to uh, push up against Vector a bit. In fact, that being said, now that these tickets are down, let's just make it 180k. Push against them a bit more. Uh, let's also just do this again with uh, Zebu Rim. Uh, not uh, not Zebu Rim, Zebulon Audio. Give them a tad bit more on their budget. See if that boosts back up the sales a little bit. Um, marketing is probably. Yeah, it's just widespread for those now. While well, it's unavoidable for this. This one we aren't even marketing, but it's still remembered sparsely by people. There's like a few uh, older dudes out there who's like, back in my day, we used to use Zebulon Paint Toe. And all that. Wow, look at those tickets that we're getting. Um, maybe this bump this up to 200k next month. Let's see, these tickets are further down. Yeah, we can we can afford 210. It's been a while since you've released an office software. I know. Oh, that's not good though. Um, I wonder if releasing like the whole uh shebang like for marketing and stuff like that will slow down that decline uh 
that'll make people like remember us. No, I do not want to release it. Mark it. Um, I believe I put it like at this date because like the timing of like all of the things around it. Uh, is there going to be like an office software this month? Is that why? Uh, no, there isn't. Or maybe we're just like running off the back of an office software. Uh, we're releasing ours only a couple months before theirs. I wonder if that was there before. So we're actually going to be competing with people. Which is maybe not the most ideal. And now our market recognition is declining for that. So I'm not sure what possessed me to, mar to uh, release it then. I probably had some kind of reasoning, like maybe Office Software was just released at the end of this last year. And so competing it with it would not have been ideal. We'll see though. Uh, we have sold all, like 150,000 copies of this already. So there's that. And we've almost reached a million with uh, the, uh, the audio uh, tool, which is good. We're at 1.5 million with Zebulon Paint. So the sequel for Zebulon Paint should come eventually. And we're still gaining tons of market recognition for that. 3D Editor, we're almost at two stars already. So looking good. Looking good, looking good. Uh, yeah, that's concerning that we're losing market recognition for that. We're sitting at 81 million. So this is going to be a big hit. Yep, I know. Um... Everything I release is a big hit. What was I going to do? I actually had something I was going to look at. <laughs> and then I went to look at it, and I forgot what it was. It's so bad. Um, oh, snap. What was it I was going to look at? Let's look at... This is not what I was originally planning on looking at, but let's look at the software for 3D editors again. Uh, no, that's, uh, let's see how the other competitor is doing. So we have this playing, which is our 3D editor. Oh, they haven't released it yet. They have like a whole, there's like a few months from now that they're going to release it. Um, it is an outstanding product. We have more active users on it than, oh, we're, we're gaining on our active users. My bad. We've sold 198,000. So actually they're they've beaten us for that they, they really hit the uh, 3d market hard when they hit it but we have an outstanding product so maybe that would make it so that we uh, can be pretty well against theirs we'll see We'll see what happens when theirs is released, if our sales drop massively or if they, their sales still happen. Uh, I'm interested to see. We are getting a decent amount of sales though. Can't complain, can't complain. You can't complain when, oh, the biggest thing I was gonna do is I was gonna put like all of this into like bonds again. Um, so let's go ahead and deposit like another 55 into bonds. Yeah, for that interest. So this is like all going to be turned into interest in 2003. See, so yeah, we got the money to put in the bonds right now. Why not? We're making big money. We've got a big market for this. Um, again, like I said, maybe at the end of the year it'll drop. But by the time that drops, we're going to be releasing Zebulon Office. And if Zebulon Office flops because of all of those other competing Office softwares, We've got Zebrim to take the market by surprise. Once Zebrim is completed, like, you know, aside from the bugs, we'll just let them like slowly bug fix everything. But then we'll also start working on the 2D editor, 3D editor, and audio tool again. We'll divide up the teams to do that. 
Zebra Room is just like their project to keep them all occupied. And we're getting pretty close to it being done. 3D art is the biggest thing. Um, in fact, I can see why that's probably a problem because I don't think we have like any really big 3D artists besides like just a couple of people. In fact, that might mean a lot of the people are just sitting around. Ooh, that would not be good. Okay. So actually, now might be the time to uh, start the development on, on a few of these little different things. So let's go ahead and start the development of three things. The first thing, uh, there's like a way to do sequels, right? My releases. Okay. First, we're going to start off with Zebulon Paint 3. Make sequel. Zebulon Paint 3, you are going to be Zebulon Paint 4. We have an SCM now. And we're going to go with our core team for this one, as well as the core team for this one. And we're going to make sure we have everything we had before. Did we have a... What should we call it before? Like, wasn't there like a, is there like a framework for this? Hold on. Existing. What are our frameworks? Um, does it like show which one's ours? Did I ever do frameworks? Doesn't look like I ever did frameworks, um, which is fine. I don't need to use frameworks. So let's go with none. Uh, these are the things we had before. We had like full system stuff. Let's go ahead and add, what should we add? Vector graphic. Retouching, healing brush. Let's do a healing brush for this. And we're going to charge $60 for a healing brush. And well, bam. That'll be bringing our thing to the next level, looks like. So let's develop. Um. Did I, was there any other options that I missed? I'm sorry. What are all the other options? Marketing was already 100%. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't miss any options there. Okay, that's one. And it's going to be on one uh, while Zebu Rim is going to sit at like eight. That's good. So that people focus on this. Everyone who does like 3D art can just focus on this. Well, everyone else can, can focus on that. Two more sequels to go. Not develop software. Uh, make our sequel. Next sequel is going to be the audio tool. And this, of course, is going to be done by our audio tool team. So let's go ahead and do that. Same thing, SCM. Uh, we have limitations with the scene because we haven't been able to train them all the way up to the level they uh, need to get to eventually. So let's add EQ compression and MinMe device input. And let's see if we can get this up to 100%. If not, it's not a big deal. Uh, there's no real new thing, I think, besides those two. So yeah, let's just stick with those two. Uh, yeah, looks like we can do 100% interest easily. There we go. And let's go ahead and develop this. Yeah, looks good. It's very complex and take a longer time to develop. Sure. And what else? Zebulon 3D Paint. Of course needs some sequel after that one. So let's go ahead and, oh, I never added, I did the price for the audio tool. Might have to just go in and, and redo the audio tool real fast to make the price cheaper. Uh, I think I had the price fairly expensive for the last one. I think it just kept it at the normal price, no? 
Oh no, the audio tool, I, I reduced the price for a lot just to make it work well. Okay. This one is, is 106, which is probably why it's making so much money. So not only is this new freebie editor going to be better, it took a lot to make it like, you know, very interested, make people interested with this one. I'm going to add procedural objects to it. We're also going to, oh man, should we have, I'm sure I could educate these people now. The price is going to be, since we're not adding too many features to this, $85 so that it sells big. Advanced. Uh, we're going to make sure it's 100% interest. Yep. And well, bam Well, bam Develop. Uh, let's just double check everything. Yep, develop. Okay. So yeah, we've got these going for us. Um, can I change the price on this? What is the price on this going to be? Let's just go ahead and cancel it real fast. The releases. Make SQL. There we go. Is everyone audio to select everything again? Uh, EQ and compression. Price is 98. Nope, it's going to be 70. Because again, we're trying to take over the market share. And advanced. SCM. Uh, we need to make sure we're using the right teams again. These guys are going to be back on audio tool. What was it advanced again my bad bot stop and again make it 100% interest just a tad bit more green there we go develop well bam this is gonna be pretty good uh, you will just keep them all on one they'll develop because everyone that is working on here that can't contribute to uh, working on here I mean that can't contribute to this anymore will will start working on here I'm pretty sure so yeah gonna be good uh, we have people idling oh no no they're doing like marketing for this one I think since uh no, the art marking is like really slow on that one. Huh. You must not be like too qualified to do it for the night shift. Uh, what are we looking at for here? In terms of uh, stock, you probably safely order like another 150k. That being said, it is coming close. I think it's going to be June that Vector is going to release theirs. So we have to make sure that we are still trouncing the competition when that's released. And yeah. Got these developing in the background now. The 2D editor is just speeding along because it's of course our core team. And this is speeding along still too. Still making progress with that art. Let's just make it a 10. just because it's a good idea. I mean, I wonder if I should just send everyone away for uh, re-education just because uh, that would make this actually get finished after they came back. Um, I think I'd rather have this finished first. We'll see. We'll see when this episode ends, what I want to do. It's only five minutes left for this episode. We'll see how far along that is. What would it be right now, like if we just review it out of curiosity? Maybe we don't want to make it like the perfect game just so that we can one-up it next time the next game comes around.
Maybe we want the art to be incomplete. And what is a review? 3D art is like the one thing that's holding it back. Everyone loves everything about this, but it's not like that bad holding it back. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move it to the next stage. I don't think we need to like spend any more time on this. It was a side project anyways. Um, yeah, it's just our first game. So let's look at releases in general. I know the events calendar, that's what it is now. So we have this, that's gonna be like an RTS game. What is going to be like the next RPG? So there's like an RPG coming out here, Space Calf Rebirthed. So I'm probably knock off of Minecraft again. Because <laughs> everyone does that. Um, what if we just did it March next year? I mean, we don't really... not going to get too much marketing done anyways between now and then. Just another uh, thing out there. So yeah, let's just do March of 2001. Okay, sure. And that'll give our freed up marketing teams a bit more time, things to do. Bit fast, but we can just have them uh, just destroy the bugs. Yeah, let's do it. It's a quick buck. You don't have to make an outstanding product every time. Most of these people are just selling good products anyways. So we'll already be above the competition. We'll beat them to releasing a first RPG. It'll just get her feet wet with games. Burglars are looking to loot the premises again. Didn't happen. We have security. Uh, we're getting quite a bit of bugs done out of the way. And let's go ahead and tune this back to 180 again. Is that set to 180? Yeah. Not too far back. I like the fact that we're, we got quite a bit of uh, copies out there now. That unit sold. How many active users? Let's close that. 168. So we're not vector level 3D paint stuff, but we're, we're still pretty well up there. And that's our first 3D editor too. So when the second one comes around, it's got to do well now. Let's go ahead and see what happens at the end of the day. Well, bam a couple million it has all the new features might be a new big hit Zebarim let's see let's see I am looking forward to the release of Zebarim what else are we doing we got Zebulon office That'll release not too long from now. And we started production on these. Our uh, customer service is kept pretty up to date on this, although it's gonna slow down now because it's summer and everyone's gonna go on vacation. Um, I think I'm content with waiting until the release of these bad boys, or at least waiting for... No, you know what? I'll go ahead and do the education next episode and yeah, yeah, let's do some education next episode for all of the people in this building, at least. Um, we haven't really had, like, a breathing space to do education for the people in the service department. That's the only thing. Um, so maybe if, like, these are all released around the same time, they can market this stuff like crazy. And then after they're done marketing it, we can go for a while without any products and, and 
train up all of these dudes. We'll see. We will see. In the meantime, this is still selling like hotcakes. I wonder how much bigger this would have been if like we just had not done it at $106. Um, so that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for next time to see how well Vector does in the product that they probably just released. Um, where is it again? Uh, 3D editors. Yeah, look, Vector 3D. No, no oh, they actually have active users already. Uh, NetUnit has sold 12,000 on their first month. Ha! So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to make it so that they don't ever catch up to us. Look at that. We have the most active users on the 3D editors now. They are trying to undercut us in price, but theirs is only good quality. So yeah, We're, and that's, that's actually like a step back from theirs. So yeah, I think we are going to be the dominant force in the 3D marketing, uh, 3D, uh, 3D editor thing for a while. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a good one. And God bless. <laughs>